What's good, guys? Today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020. Wanted to do a very brief video. Um, it's not actually in regards to the Kanika Jenkins case specifically, but it is in regards to the J4K community. Um, I've been here from the beginning, uh, minding my own little business as best I can, uh, trying to uh, check out things in regards to this case. I've done multiple videos regarding the Kanika Jenkins case um, and anything that I've uncovered. There are a couple of things I'm still looking at and tossing over um, and that's always going to be the case. Um, I don't put out anything that I can't verify and I think that upsets some people because even though I may feel a certain way about a situation it doesn't necessarily mean it's the facts <laughs> um, all feelings aren't facts so because I may feel a certain way about someone in regards to the Kenny G. Jenkins case that doesn't mean it's factual and that's where I think a lot of people have a problem um, a lot of people act on emotions and um, I don't I just refrain from talking about it because why put that out there? Um, I don't need to get on here and bash the party goers. I don't feel the need to do that. I think that happens enough. Uh, people have covered that. And until I can prove something, I can't go in and say anything that's not true. That's just being a responsible YouTube channel. So you won't catch me doing that. So if that's why you're here, I apologize in advance. You're not going to get that out of me. But I wanted to um, also show two comments that I just got on my channel. Um, because I want people to see the way other people speak to me. Um, or And they, it's not just me. They speak to everybody like this. So, I just wanted to show you guys um, what is being accused of me. So, let's get there. Okay. So, this is the first comment that popped up. It says, I'm just wondering. I'm not even going to go in on that spelling error. Are you investigating the real cause of Kanika's death to help Teresa get justice? Because all I ever see when you do, I think that's supposed to be B on YouTube, is taking us through a scroll, I think that's supposed to be stroll, down someone's Facebook, which we can all see for ourselves. You did the young ladies who sold her for $200 to be raped and tormented, and yet you defends them when you do mention them. What is your position in J4K? It's not justice for Irene, Monifa, Shemaya, or Bri, Bri They are the reason Kanika is dead. You really need to explain the real facts that Jesus have spared their lives this long is for them to tell the truth. If they have one ounce of dignity left in their criminal bodies. So I'm going to address this comment uh, publicly because I feel like it needs to be addressed publicly. Um... If you're wondering if I am investigating the real cause of Kanika's death, then that tells me that you haven't looked through my channel. Um, and you see me taking a stroll through someone's Instagram, but you don't see me going on Facebook. I don't fool with Facebook. And the reason I don't, and the reason I do the Instagram stories is because that has been requested of me specifically by people that view my channel and subscribe to my channel. And you will see um, several of them that have, this is more than one person that's requesting this. There are a lot of people that don't have Instagram. Um, but you will see in the comments on those videos regarding Instagram, um, some of the people that have requested it, thanking me for that. That was a request. 
So I'm just fulfilling a request. And I have no problem doing that. Uh, if you are uninterested in those, please stay off of those videos. And I plainly put it in the title for a reason. Now let's get to this. You did the young ladies who sold her for $200 to be raped and tormented. And yet you defend them when you do mention them. Well, first of all, I have never defended any of the partygoers. The only thing I ever said in regards to the partygoers was about a comment that was made towards Monifa. And I don't care how anyone else takes it. I took it as wrong. Um, and childish, to be quite honest with you. It was very childish and it's wrong. And where I'm from, we don't talk like that. So that was the only thing that I've ever said in regards to defending anyone. Okay. Second of all, do you have proof that they sold her for $200? Do you have proof that they raped her and tormented her? Exactly. These are just some of the things that are being investigated in this case. <laughs> so, no, I haven't defended them. No, I do not believe they sold her for $200 to be raped and tormented. That's never came out of my mouth, nor will it ever. That's just, that even sounds silly. What is your position in J4K? It's not justice for Irene, Mon Monifa, Shemaya, or Brewery. They are the reason Kanika is dead. My position in the Kanika Jenkins case <clears throat> is to investigate the case and put out as much factual information as I possibly can. What my opinion on the case is shouldn't concern you, honestly. I don't mind sharing my opinion from time to time, but that shouldn't be your concern. You should just be listening to the information and taking away from it what you need to take away from it. I don't push my opinions down anyone's throat, nor will I ever start to do that. And as far as them being the reason that Kanika is dead, I mean, that's still, are they bad friends? Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Now, I agree with that. They are bad friends. But the other stuff, I'm still looking. I'm still looking, just like everyone else. If someone had proof to bring to the table, do you think we would be sitting here talking about them right now? You really need to explain the real facts. That's what I've done. That's what I've at least attempted to do. Now, what you've taken away from it, I don't really know. Honestly, I kind of feel like you have the wrong person. <laughs> because it doesn't sound like you know me very well or my channel. And as far as Jesus and sparing their life and the truth, I don't know nothing about that. That's between them and God. That's not something that I get into that. I don't get into the religious aspect of that. Um, that's just not something that I dabble in. That's, all, that's between them and God. But I do know this. If you want to talk about Jesus and sparing their life this long for them to tell the truth, they're still a child of God. Now, that's all I'm going to say on that. Moving on to the next comment. I keep seeing a video and a lady and this lady on it looks like you on it at the killer hotel. And it gives a good reason why you always sound like you're not seeking justice for Kanika. All you do is keep everybody who was involved with her set up irrelevant and try to take speak so highly of these evil fake people. Who cares about their Facebook post? Why don't you exercise your time on finding information about the corrupt hotel? Alright, let's break this one down. I keep seeing a video with a lady that looks like me on it. Well, isn't that interesting? Because I know where I was on the night of September the 9th, 2017. I know where I was on the uh, night of the 10th. I know where I was on the night of the 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th. I know where I was every single night in the month of September of 2017. And I can prove it. I have receipts for that. 
Does anyone else have receipts? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I worked every single day in the month of September. The entire month of, of September, I worked every single day. And guess what shift I worked? Third shift. Moving on. It doesn't sound like I'm seeking justice for Kanika. Because all I do is keep everybody who was involved with her setup irrelevant. That doesn't even make sense. But I understand what you're trying to say. Because I can use context clues. Um, I think you meant to say relevant. No. And again, I'm going to tell you, and I usually tell this in my videos. I don't know that I did today, but I usually do. These videos are requested videos. If you don't want to watch them, just simply click off of them. It is, it's so simple. So simple yet so hard. And I, I don't know that I speak so highly of the evil fake people who cares about their Facebook post. I haven't covered anything from Facebook. This again is Instagram and that tells me right there that you're not watching my video. And why don't I exercise my time finding information about the corrupt hotel? I've done that. Have you? Have you done your research about the corrupt hotel? I've given my information regarding the people that worked the, at the hotel to Trey Gang. And he can back that up. And if he doesn't, I have emails showing where I sent that information to him. So yes, I have investigated the corrupt hotel. But have you? It's so easy for someone to point the finger at someone else. Um, but not want to take accountability for their own self. So yes, I know where I was for every night in the month of September 2017. That's the whole reason I got involved in the Kanika Jenkins case in the, in the beginning anyways. I was at work on third shift listening to all this stuff coming out on YouTube. And if you don't know a little bit about me, that's unfortunate because you obviously don't. You don't know where I came from. None of that. So I just wanted to do this video um, just to show kind of what I've dealt with today in regards to the Kanika Jenkins case. And it just boggles my mind how people have this entitlement um, that they can come at people and speak any kind of way. We're all here for justice, correct? And if we're all here for justice, why are you guys coming at people the way you are? I don't understand that. I do not understand that. I never will understand it. I'm all about everybody having differing opinions. That's how we learn. I'm all about it over here. I'll let you say whatever you want to say. That doesn't mean I'm not going to say something back to you. But you can say whatever you want to say. I don't have a problem with that. Unless you're trolling. Now, if you're trolling, I'm just going to give you a hashtag, Justice for Kanika. Because that's my signature move. And that's what you got. That's what the both of you guys got. Hashtag, Justice for Kanika. Hashtag, Bless Your Hearts. That's what you got. That's how this Kentucky girl gets down. So I'm going to end this video on that note, but um, I just wanted to publicly let address uh, these two comments that I just received. And you guys have a great night. Thanks for listening.